Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have something a little bit more different than the usual like PlayStation or Xbox news. And it actually comes to Mountain Dew, who is now actually making their very first brand new hard soda. Now, I'm actually kind of curious on this, and that's kind of why I want to make a video on this. Because is this something that you guys want to go and drink? You guys going to go get and all that good stuff? Let me know in the comment section down below before we fully dive into the video. I myself have actually done a few sponsors and work with Mountain Dew and Gaming ga Game Fuel itself. So basically kind of cool to go and see them actually kind of expanding on out more into the alcoholic region as well. And of course, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of different things like hard seltzers white claws trulies and all of that so it's always kind of cool to see more different types of well alcohol out there for all of us now as well not sure exactly how many of you guys are over the age of 21 i think we actually have a pretty decently over age 21 like of age audience here so like i said leave your comments and thoughts on all this down below and of course if you guys are randomly new from this video make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on we also do do a lot of gaming news and all that type of stuff we also are giving out a PlayStation 5 to some of our viewers out there too as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. And like the video and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And Twitter and Twitch stream if you guys want to follow. A link down below. So we actually have a, like, there's a little bit of controversy. A little bit of fun controversy too as well. Because some people are actually all just referring this back to the 4 loco. It was trending up on Twitter all throughout today. And in all honesty, I kind of want to try it. I'm not really a big soda drinker, but I actually have done the game fuel before. Like, as I mentioned, I've actually worked with the company quite a few times and have done some promotional work for them over on the Twitch channel. If you guys want to follow, you guys totally can. But very kind of nifty, cool designs. Let's go and actually go and talk about it. So, as you guys can kind of go and see on over here, PepsiCo and Boston Beer to now go and create the brand new alcoholic Mountain Dew drink. Very, honestly, very intriguing. Here are the cans themselves. They have the original, like, OG Mountain Dew, the Black Cherry, and Watermelon. I've had the Black Cherry before with the Game Fuel. Pretty not bad. I'll say, honestly, pretty good. Same with the OG Mountain Dew. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have actually tried it. We're all gamers here. I'm sure you guys have. Now, the Watermelon flavor is a little bit on the intriguing side. And these are all, all actually al alcoholic, too, as well. It's a very intriguing stuff. But basically, the key points for this before we dive on into it and show some tour stuff as well. Basically, PepsiCo and Boston Beer are now teaming on up to create a hard Mountain Dew, an alcoholic flavored malt beverage. And on that type of thing, I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen other things like a hard, like, you know, like a hard Coke, hard Pepsi, because I know a lot of people like to go and drink rum and Cokes or even old fashions and stuff like that with a little top off of a dark soda. That's kind of one of my nice preferred easy drinks to drink. So I'm actually kind of surprised we've never actually seen a combination on that because they could literally go and just call an alcoholic beverage rum and Coke and literally just make it for you. And I'm sure that would sell like hotcakes because it's a pretty stable drink. I'm sure a lot of you guys have actually drank it yourselves. As well, the drink themselves is expected to hit the shelves by early 2022. And then Pepsi has been trying to use the heft of the Mountain Dew name for several years to move the soda into new categories. And if you guys have actually seen, we do have the normal Mountain Dew and other different type of flavors like Baja Blast or whatever. But we also have some other stuff like the Game Fuel. As I mentioned before, I've done promotional work for them. And it's kind of cool because... It's just all the same kind of genre, same kind of similar type of flavor, but it's just kind of expanding into other horizons. And once again, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen other drinks. Like imagine like a hard Dr. Pepper or like something like that. Kind of <laughs> I have had those three words, by the way, put together a little bit on the weirder side. But like just imagine how nice that flavor profile would be. And I think a lot of people would actually drink these. Like I think overall a lot of people would. And as well, too, as well, these are actually the flavors as we showed over there before. But basically the official kind of statement slash article on this is... PepsiCo and San Adams Brewer Boston Beer are teaming up to create an alcoholic version of Mountain Dew. Boston Beer will develop and produce the drink called Hard Mountain Dew, while Pepsi has created an entire new entity to sell, deliver, and market the product. The beverage is expected to hit shelves in early 2022. Hard Mountain Dew will belong to the flavored malt beverage category and contain 5% alcohol by value. Early images of the product also show that it will also contain zero sugar. Nothing wrong with that. The first hint that Pepsi could enter the alcoholic category came in October when PepsiCo CEO Ramon LaGrata told analysts that the company would consider the move. Once again, though, I if you guys want to leave your thoughts in comments down below, feel free to. I think it's smart. Like, I really think I can see this doing very well. It's very trending, and a lot of people are kind of saying it's good. And the main idea, that, as I mentioned, it just reminds me of Four Locos. When I was back in, like, my high school days drinking some Four Locos, you would get messed up pretty quick and they usually tasted pretty good i kind of feel like it's gonna be the same exact thing overall now <laughs> in all honesty so i basically also do go and arrive uh to follow an announcement from the rival coca-cola that actually would create a topo chico hard seltzer now once again i'm not really the biggest fan of seltzers i'd rather have more of like a like a hard soda if anything its first alcoholic beverage for you as consumers in decades through a partnership of molson Coors beverage 
Pepsi also filed a trademark application in June to sell Rockstar branded beer and hard seltzer. Which once again, like if they already have the flavors there, they're pretty much like people already mix this with alcohol. Like they literally will just go and pour it, put some vodka, put some booze, put some rum, put whatever into it. So might as well just go and go the next step and just drink it. Why not? Of course, Pepsi has been trying to use the heft of the Mountain Dew name for several years to move the soda into new categories, like energy drinks, as I mentioned before, for the Mountain Dew game, Amp Fuel, and all that. Uh, the company launched Mountain Dew Rise Energy earlier this year. According to Euromonitor, Mountain Dew actually holds about a 7% market share in carbonated soft drinks, putting it in around fifth place. So all around pretty good in comparison for all the things out there. For Boston Beer, the partnership with Pepsi comes as the company's own product struggle. In the lat latest quarter, the company's rosy projections for its truly hard seltzer were hit with a reality check, causing the stock to tumble 26% in one day and the brewer to cut its full year forecast, which is insane. Meanwhile, the beer category as a whole has been struggling. Last year, overall beer volume declined by 2.8%, despite total alcohol consumption increasing to its highest rate in nearly two decades. According to industry tracker IWSR, Boston Beer also recently announced a partnership with Beam Suntory to bring its iconic brands into new categories. Boston Beer shares were trending down more than 2% on Tuesday. The stock has fallen more than 32% since January, putting its market value at $8.2 billion. Pepsi shares are actually slightly up in trading Tuesday as well. Stock has gained 4% year to date, and its market value is at $20, $200 billion. So very intriguing. Like I said, I want to hear your thoughts down below. But of course, a lot of folks out there have been kind of giving their own thoughts and opinions on this. It's basically like, Four Loco is like, oh my god, like, that's the <laughs> it's like, no, 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 this is our drink. What do you mean? Like, Four Loco, no, 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 stop, 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 do as well. Like, a lot of people up on Twitter throughout all of today are basically being like, yo, well, yo, Four Loco, yo, yo, we, we need like a new D, we need like new schemes, we need new drinks or whatever. <laughs> and like I said, I drank a lot of Four Locos back in the day. I think, I think if anything, too, you guys, I haven't looked at any research on it. I always thought that Four Locos were literally like banned, I think. If you drank Four Loco, Mad Dog 2020, Cisco, Old English, and are planning to ingest this new Hard Mountain Dew and make it safer than the Vax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but basically, it's kind of cool. A lot of people, my gamer body will only accept Hard Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. <laughs> like, there's been a lot of really funny tweets on this stuff, too, as well, boys. I think it'll be good. I think it has good potential. I'd be down to go and try it. I'm not against Mountain Dew and these other types of various flavors, too, as well. I am down, boys. I am down. As well, I kind of wish the alcohol limits were a little bit on the higher end. But, you know, what can you try to go and do? There's even some random person. I'm going to try the hard Mountain Dew when it comes out. I have to. I'm required to. I'm not going to like it, though. And I'll probably end up heavily doing it with Voltage. <laughs> so that's just got a cool, fun little story to kind of wind down the night. Because it's been a little bit more on the crazy news besides just the abandoned game, which we covered on earlier on throughout today. But if you guys want to go and leave a comment, if you guys are going to try it, you guys are going to pick it up. You guys think it might be a drink. You guys actually might pick up more than once. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Would love to hear your thoughts and comments. And it's also, I don't know, just kind of a fun topic. I like Mountain Dew. Nothing wrong with that. As well, if any you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Like the video itself, Twitter and Twitch stream down below as well. And just thank you guys all so much for existing. Hope you guys have a good rest of your nights. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more brand new restock news. Love you guys all a lot.